Hello guys, I'm Adriana and today with Leonardo we are going to check this Xiaomi 11 Lite water damage without any image. So if you are a technician or if you have in your hands a Xiaomi device, please stay with us until the end to see step by step this repair and the price that we invoiced to our client. We won't take long with the disassembly process, you can find in our YouTube channel many videos about it. To remove the back cover we apply 90 Celsius degrees. With the help of a plastic pick guitar we cut the adhesive. To remove the upper antenna we have to remove all these screws. The most important step in the entire disassembly process is to remove the battery connector. Then we can loosen all the connectors on the motherboard. Now carefully we can remove the motherboard. In the bottom part of the device we inspect the charging module so before anything we have to remove these screws. With the help of the microscope, we'll inspect the motherboard. Here we can see signs of humidity. The entire top part is water damaged. In this component we can check the water damages. We use the hot air station at 350 Celsius degrees and 50% air, so in this way we we'll remove the shields from the top part. After removing the shields, we go to inspect the area for humidity. Any repair is based on small steps that have to be taken throughout the process. In this way, we have to simplify the repair. Here I leave you a small example. At first, when we find an exercise like this, we panic. We can't know the final result from the beginning. So, what we have to do is to divide this complicated exercise into other that are easier.
in mobile repair is the same. We have a complicated failure and we try to solve it in 10 minutes. This does not exist. Any technician with some experience can confirm it to you. First, we need to know how to assemble and disassemble any device. Then, we have to know how to solder and desolder any component on the motherboard. Third, we have to know how to identify the components on the motherboard. Then, we need to know the function of the components. Then, we need to know how to read the schematics. And finally, we can say now we that continue we have with our some repair, experience we go to the microscope time. and we'll inspect If you have a look area. to our YouTube channel, you've got playlists with all the steps to become a good technician. But most of the people want to repair any device use a metal in less brush than 10 and contact and cleaner invoice to for clean it. The That's area. not possible. Don't be fooled. In this way, we manage to catch all the dirt in the cotton towel. We continue with our cleaning process on the other part of the motherboard. We place the motherboard and we fit on all the flex. More or less, the device seems to be charging. Our problem is that we don't have any image on the screen. On some occasion, this can happen to us, that the device doesn't turn on. No one has said that this job is easy and on some occasion we have to dedicate more time than normally we do. Let's inspect the screen connector. Since it's water damage, we have to inspect it well. As you can see, we've got signs of corrosion on the screen connector. Here we can observe it better. We can see that we have a broken pad. Whoever follows our YouTube channel knows that repairing this pad is a very easy task. With the help of the scalpel or a precision file, we remove all the possible oxide.
We clean the area with contact cleaner and then we apply solder paste. Sorry, I forgot to press the camera, but the process is easy. We have to solder the two pads using the type of the soldering at 350 Celsius degrees. And then we make a connection using a copper wire. To protect our solder, we apply green mask. We use an ultraviolet flashlight to cure the surface. We are going to continue our repair with the following pads. We clean the area, we apply a little flux, solder paste and we solder. On our website you can find all the tools and suppliers we use in our workshop. Now let's check our device. This is the screen connector that we soldered. Finally, we have image on the screen. The most important failure was with the screen connector. For this type of repair, we have invoiced to our client 79 euros and we have had a happy customer. We must not forget that behind a successful repair, there are many quality tools and a lot of time invested over the years and also all the general expenses that come with running a business. So 79 euros is a fair price. 
The truth is that I don't like the charge, but I know this plug is not too good, so I'm going to use a base that works correctly. Everything is okay, we have a good charge of 1.8 amperes. Guys, thanks for watching, he is Leonardo, this was today's video and see you next time. Bye bye! High speed, I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, nah, f likely I'd be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sight